Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. The Temples of Angkor The Temples of Angkor are a vast complex of ancient religious monuments located in the northwest region of Cambodia, near the city of Siem Reap. These temples were built by the Khmer Empire, which ruled over much of Southeast Asia between the 9th and 15th centuries. The most famous of the temples is Angkor Wat, which is considered the largest religious monument in the world. This temple was originally built as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu, but was later converted into a Buddhist temple. Other notable temples in the complex include Bayon, which features enormous stone faces carved into its towers, and Ta Prom, which is famous for the way that giant tree roots have grown around and through the temple's walls. The temples of Angkor are considered some of the most important archaeological sites in Southeast Asia and have been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. They are also an important part of Cambodian culture and are featured on the country's national flag. Visiting the temples of Angkor is a popular tourist destination and draws millions of visitors each year. Phnom Kulin Phnom Kulin is a mountain range located in Siem Reap Province, Cambodia about 50 kilometers northeast of the city of Siem Reap. It is considered a sacred site by the Khmer people and is known for its waterfalls, ancient temples, and natural beauty. Phnom Kulin has a rich history and played an important role in the development of the Khmer Empire. It was here that King Jayavarman II proclaimed himself a god-king and established the Khmer Empire in 802 AD. The mountain range also served as the source of the stone used to construct many of the ancient temples and buildings in the region, including Angkor Wat. Today, Phnom Kulin is a popular tourist destination and attracts visitors from around the world. The mountain range is home to several ancient temples and ruins, including Priya Ong Tom, a large reclining Buddha statue, and the River of a Thousand Lingas, a riverbed lined with ancient carvings of Hindu deities. The area is also known for its scenic waterfalls, including the 20-meter-high Kilin Waterfall, which is a popular spot for swimming and picnicking. Visitors can explore Phnom Kilin by hiking the trails that wind through the mountain range or by hiring a guide to lead them on a tour of the area's temples and natural wonders. The best time to visit is during the rainy season, from June to November, when the waterfalls are at their most impressive. Tunnel Sap Tunnel Sap is the largest freshwater lake in Southeast Asia, located in the heart of Cambodia. The lake is unique because of its flow reversal system, where it is connected to the Mekong River and its waters change direction twice a year. During the dry season, the lake's water level drops, and the Tunnel Sap River flows towards the Mekong River. However, during the wet season, the Mekong River's water level rises and flows back into the Tunnel Sap River causing the lake's water level to rise significantly and expand up to five times its size. The lake is an essential source of food and livelihood for many Cambodians who live in and around the lake. Fishing is a significant economic activity. And the lake is home to over 300 species of freshwater fish, including the famous Mekong giant catfish. The lake also supports a diverse range of wildlife, such as birds, reptiles, and mammals, including the endangered freshwater Irrawaddy dolphins. Tunnel Sap Lake and its surrounding areas have also been designated as a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve and are home to several floating villages where people live on houses built on stilts. These communities rely on fishing and aquaculture for their livelihoods, and the lake plays a crucial role in their daily lives. The lake and its unique ecosystem make it an important cultural and ecological site, attracting many tourists every year. Koh Rong Island Koh Rong Island is a popular tourist destination located in the Gulf of Thailand, off the coast of Cambodia. It is the second largest island in Cambodia, and it is known for its white sandy beaches, crystal clear waters, and lush jungles. Koh Rong Island has several popular beaches, including Long Beach, Sok San Beach, and Coconut Beach. Visitors can enjoy a range of activities on the island, such as swimming, snorkeling, scuba diving, kayaking, and hiking. The island is also known for its vibrant nightlife, with many bars and restaurants offering live music and entertainment. Koh Rong Island is home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, 
including several endangered species. The island is also known for its bioluminescent plankton, which light up the waters at night, creating a magical and unique experience for visitors. To reach Koh Rong Island, visitors can take a ferry from Sihanoukville or Phnom Penh. There are several accommodations available on the island, ranging from budget-friendly goose houses to luxury resorts. Phnom Penh Phnom Penh is the capital and largest city of Cambodia. Located in the southern part of the country, it has a population of over 2 million people. Phnom Penh is the cultural, economic, and political center of Cambodia and is home to many important institutions, including the Royal Palace, the National Museum of Cambodia, and the Cambodia-Vietnam Friendship Monument. The city has a rich history, having been the seat of the Khmer Empire during its heyday in the 12th and 13th centuries. It was later colonized by the French and became the capital of French Indochina in the early 20th century. In the 1970s, the city fell under the control of the Khmer Rouge regime, which devastated the country and led to the deaths of an estimated 1.7 million people. In recent years, Phnom Penh has undergone rapid development and modernization, with new high-rise buildings, shopping centers, and infrastructure projects springing up all over the city. Despite these changes, however, the city has managed to retain its unique cultural identity, with traditional Khmer architecture, street food, and markets still a common sight throughout the city.